This is Keith from CoachBase. Uh, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to use Soccer Coach's clipboard. So here you can see uh, on the top right, you're going to see a bunch of buttons. Uh, if I click on it, you can choose different line types. So let's say I draw a line. That looks good. If I want a dotted line, I can do that. Uh, arrows, no problem. I can quickly undo my lines by tapping the undo button or redo. Uh, I can also erase all of them by tapping on the top right corner and that's just going to erase uh, everything. Now if you don't want to draw any lines you can tap this and then no matter what you draw in the field uh, no lines will appear. Now those are the basics. Second thing, let's say you want to create an animation you can just move the players into place, tap the plus button, move your players, move your ball. You can move multiple people at the same time, and then just tap the plus button. At the top, you're going to see 5 out of 5, that's a step number. Uh, everything is broken down into a series of steps, so now if I press play, it's going to do what I just created. Right. Every time you, you move, press the plus and it's going to take a snapshot of the location of your players. Now let's try to create a new play. Uh, there are multiple fields. You can have an outer bound field, you can have a futsal, indoor. Um, you can have you know, practice fields. Uh, or no lines at all. So let's say we create this. Uh, we want half and then we just want this many players and it's going to create that. Okay. Another thing is you can go to oh, let's, let's try to save a play right now. So I'll create again. We want a short corner He'll come over, pass the ball, come, 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 and then score. Now let's save this as corner kick. If we go to playbook, you're going to be able to see corner kick. Uh, you can also create folders and a lot of different things. So let's create a folder and call it corner. And then we can move uh, into the folder. So now they're in this folder. Now let's load back the original play that we had. Um, so, corner kick. Now let's go to teams. Now you see we have a list of different people here. You can type in your names. Uh, you can also add in photos. And at the bottom, you can also create different lineups, uh, such as doing this. So I can just go um, him. So just drag and drop. All right, there we have it. And then you can go here and we can load the lineup we had. You can also quickly add more players by doing that. We can also, let's create a new play. We can put in objects like this, uh, and you can create drills. So let's say we have a drill, we start here, so like this, pass the ball, come back, and score.
pen. You can save that. Uh, you can add notes to your drill. So let's add a note. Let's go back to step one. You can add a note. Let's make the word bigger. Okay. And then So if we do that, you're going to see that we just added notes. And now that you've made the change, you can save the changes you made by just tapping save. Now we've saved it. Now that you've created all this fun stuff, you can just simply share it. So if you configure your email, you can email as PDF or you can email as a play. Uh, or you can uh, save it as an image. So multiple different options you can use. If you're stuck, you can try using tutorial, uh, or you can contact us. And that's just a basic overview of how to use Soccer Coach's clipboard. Thank you.